see if Mariev's still there. She's there. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. That was a cool place to sleep. I slept pretty good. Anyway, I'm not gonna wake her up. I told her I was just gonna get up and go to work and it's 7.30, so I did sleep in a little bit. I know I was up at five yesterday, so. Um, technically, I could start working on Nick's van right now, so. Oh, man. Let's go finish this project. Normally I'd use one piece, but Nick couldn't buy this in a particular size. So I decided that uh, I was just gonna piece them together and use this little edge right here to go right here. And um, I probably should have left the wood like this just to give it a bit more strength in that area. But uh, what I'll do is I'll see how this goes and then uh, we'll see. Maybe I might put a little bar across the back here, but. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these in. Glue and screw. Surprise! Day, surprise! surprise! <laughs> I had a call with my daughter come in, so I, I kind of got carried away with, with that while I was working. Uh, it was the middle of the night over there too, so she's just woke up and she was like jumping around and yeah, she just wanted to call and hang out. Anyway, uh, that was great. Um, so I got these on and they look good on this side. I still got to do the back trim. So I'm going to do up that next just to help hold this thing in place. When I did mine and my van, um, because I wasn't using this material, I was using just birch plywood. I actually used that cutter and I made it go right in the middle of the plywood itself. And then I ended up with a top half and a bottom half. And then I glued the plywood together on the corners and used a bit of wood filler and then sanded, painted the whole thing. So it's very seamless in mine. And this one, I did it differently in that I inlaid it in the back and I'm gonna put a little trim that goes over top of this all the way around. But for now, it's uh, screwed and glued in there. And uh, yeah, it's coming along. So I'll just give them those some time to dry for the time being. And I'll work on these pieces right now.
Okay, so I'm gonna cut that out in a bit. I just don't have a scrap piece of plywood big enough for that. So anyway, let's get this cut, cut out. That's how that turned out. I like that. This one's got a little rattle to it when it closes. I like that. Wow. Like a guitar. And that seam, that turned out pretty good. Joining the, that right in the middle there. That's fine. So I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out for sure. It's a headliner kit shelf. Pretty cool, actually. Took most of the day to make that. <laughs> it was an all for an effort to fix that weird cut out part of the floor that Nick had done and it came all the way out to here and I didn't realize it was going to look a little bit like a toilet seat until after I ran the router over it. <laughs> well you know at that point I was like well you know <laughs> it's a kitty toilet. Nick you got a kitty toilet in your van. You got the big one there and the little one here. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going, do a bit more work. And I did, uh, <laughs> I had a, an accident there. I'll show you the culprit for that. 
basically I was using the table saw and I was cutting a piece of wood and something caught it, uh, the blade, and something violently got thrown at me and I was like, Jesus. Damn close call. And what it was, was a chunk of aluminum that went flying out and that's what hit me in the arm. You know, in hindsight, now I know why this happened. Earlier yesterday, I was cutting this stuff and then I was like cutting off little chunks of it and some of them were falling down in there afterwards. So uh, it's the first time it's happened. I wasn't really aware of the hazard of that until that happened. And now I realize if there's little chunks of aluminum and stuff f falling in there, uh, and it happened later. I was cutting another piece of aluminum today and this tiny little piece fell down. So I stopped and I took it apart and I cleaned out the inside of that, made sure there was no other chunks down in there so that this didn't happen again. But I might hang on to this for a little while. It almost looks like it's covered in blood, but I think that's just some of the paint off the blade. But yeah, a little piece of shrapnel. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm going to keep going. So right there, there's a bit of a notch. It's going to slip in there like so. Cut away up here because of that. So press this in here. There we go. And uh, I'll probably just countersink this screw in place. And then this one, I'll have to put a little bracket or something in back there so that I can uh, screw this one back and have it kind of come in on an angle like so. I'll come up with something similar to this side, but it's going to be a little bit different because it's totally different over there, but uh, we'll see. We'll get it and get that side sorted out too. So I put these uh, brackets in and there's a little screw in behind. It was a little tricky getting them in there, but uh, they're in and there's rib nuts on there. So I'm going to get this delicate piece in there and that's how that, uh, that works there. You can still open this. That's that little should be pretty good. This one will suck that in a little bit more like that, and then that'll be it. Okay, I finished up the other side here. It's a pretty uh pretty similar. It's a little bit different of the setup, but here it is. And I got the screws. working on this this afternoon and I didn't film it, but this is this uh, sort of fancy piece that hooks in behind the hot water tank. And this piece here just slips in down there in those two uh, aluminum tracks. So this uh, this will allow him to service this, inspect it, any of that sort of stuff. And it also gives pretty quick access to it as well. And I don't know, this is just what I came up with. So hopefully that's okay. Oh, you'll like that.
Oh, ta-da. Hmm, hmm. I still have a sip of coffee left. Wild. That's it guys. I'm finished. There might be the odd little teeny, I don't know, add-on or something like that, a little something here and there, but that's it. All the woodwork is done in the van. Everything's installed except for, I think the hot water tank, Nick still needs to connect that down below, but I'm gonna leave that to him. He's got it tied into the Mercedes system. And um, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at this. I gotta run, uh, I'm behind schedule. I got a race off to Vancouver, my mom's visiting, and um, I, I just, I'm so glad this is out of the way. This job has been, I've been through so much personally, working through everything myself, like the psychology that I've been going through while working on this thing. And this last stretch was just this huge push and super, super long days every day, just trying to get this thing all wrapped up so I could move on. Um, and man, I totally want to move on. Right now, I just want to go chill out. But I got a lot of stuff to do right now. I got to get my van organized, cleaned up. Uh, it's dusty inside of my van because of the yard here and all the sawdust that I create just gets sucked into that thing. Um, and I got to clean things up and just uh, get some laundry done. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. I will give you a van tour of this van a little later on. Um, so stay tuned for that. For now, I'm just going to leave it as is because I got to go. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. And um, if you haven't already, if you do like the channel, you like the series and stuff, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Leave a comment, thumbs up, all that sort of stuff. Good morning. Uh, I slept in the ferry lineup last night, so... Yesterday I was getting super like organized to leave Nick's place. It felt so good. After finishing his van, I immediately like did this huge cleanup, did laundry, got my, my van organized. There's one little spot in the van I gotta clean up still and just sort of wash down all the dust. Uh, but I cleaned up my whole camera rig, uh, phones, the phone cases, and uh, the shop. Uh, my stuff in his basement, I kind of got that piled up nicely. Um, and uh, just, yeah, felt so good doing that. It was just kind of satisfying, put the tools away. And I was just like, it's over, it's done. The job is done. Um, later in the afternoon, just before I left, Nick and Michaela showed up and they, they walked to the backyard they got into the van and they sat there for for quite a while and just took it in and i went out and saw them and they're like it's pretty awesome so <clears throat> that's great i'm i'm pretty excited for those guys they got a really beautiful van um and while they're not going to live in it they're just they're going to be doing little off trips and stuff in it it's going to be really convenient and more comfortable for them to do that sort of thing in the future. So camping trips or just going out and working out of it and that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm going to catch this boat and uh, we'll see where the day goes uh, or the next few days. But uh, stay tuned. See you.